Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Next, I am planning to show you that that how we can notice and check and see and hear that our car's automatic transmission that there is something bad or it is damaged or maybe our car's this automatic transmission is even red and there is really bad damage in our cars this automatic transmission and how we can uh, how we can how we can know know that in by three different things and there is now three tests what I like to show you that how we can how we can know and learn that now there is something wrong in my car's automatic transmission. Okay, and this first test is that when we have this automatic transmission, like in, I have in here, this my stick. First step is that if we hear something bad noise, then we can think that now this our car's automatic transmission, there is some damage in my car. And for that first test I start with my car and, and now when the car is running we can do this first take test and here there is this my automatic transmission stick and there are those gears and and then when I am planning to change gears and if we hear anything bad, like bad metallic sound or something, vibration, then we can think that now in our gearbox there is something wrong. And this is my stick in here. And next I am planning to change my gears. And let's look, now there is this, this is like P, and then when I change this gear in this air, like reverse, this car jumps really badly. Look. This is first bad signal. We think this whole whole car like shakes and rotates, and this is first thing that now we have, now we have something wrong in my car. If we look what I am now doing, and then when I am changing this gear, now it's like like neutral uh, parking position, and then when I change that in reverse. This whole car moves really heavily, and this is not normal. This is the first signal that now I have something wrong, and now there is neutral, and again in reverse, this car moves really badly. Okay, and when we look in there outside, we can see that now when I change, this whole car vibrates. Okay, and this is first thing that when we change our car's gears, this car normally it, it it must be very stable, like in here. But now when I change in this number D, like driving position, car is in, in like position, but not in that way that this whole car shakes and rotates. And now there's even something bad sound. This is really bad. Again. There is, and then we go to also Look what the situation in engine area. Because when I change these gears, maybe there is also something sound. And let, then we go to look engine area. Okay, and then we look that what happens when I insert this gear on, and then this car moves. And let's look that how badly. This car shakes and moves because normally when I insert this gear, this car should be very stable. And look that area where is this gear box? It is in this area in here, and then this ground area in here. Then I I change this gear.
Okay, and when this car moves, moved, it is bad signal. Okay, and then we continue. Okay, and now we are uh, made this first test, and first test was that when I change this car's gears, then this car vibrates really badly. Look that. Now it's again and then when gear is on, this car moves badly. Again, the gear on. Okay, and this is this first signal that normally when we replace gears, there should be silent movement. But now this my reverse takes too bad sound. And then, then we go to look what is this second thing that we have some issue in our automatic transmission car. Okay, the second issue is that if we can see in here this uh, warning or engine failure light, it could be very bad signal. And now when I start this my engine, engine P and then I start we can see that that here was here was this error warning light in here but now it is off and and if if we can see in there this error light then we can think that okay now now there is this error warning light Okay, and it is just in there, look. And it is bad. And especially now, when reverse is on, I can think that this my file belongs in this automatic. And this is second thing, that if we can see this error code. And for that, if we have some error scanner, like I have, we can next test that what error I have in there. And I take my tester next. Okay, and then when I I made this my faulty scanning, we can see that there is now one faulty and it is P fault lock manager and one one error message in here and I am using my scan tool and I look that in web look up what is this P7 P0755 what is it and then I a little bit and there is this P0755 OPD trouble code and it means that that it is power train transmission is this issue and shift solenoid is this error. Shift solenoid P and this P means that in my automatic transmissions solenoid 2 there is some issue now. Okay and that means that this my faulty, faulty code scanner it found this error before of that that there is no any this uh, faulty code light in there and this is interesting because now this my my device is so wise that it invented that there is now error in my automatic transmission and that's good and then I have this third issue that this my car is by the way this Toyota Toyota car where is automatic transmission and two liters this gasoline VVT I engine and there is this uh, automatic transmission what is in like cars like Toyota RAV4 this four field drive more more SUV, SUV car there is this error and then when I think that what is my third thing third thing is that yes First, worst thing was that when I change these gears, this car makes bad sound in that way when I change look. And the second thing was that I found this error in my scanner 
what I have in there. And I have, by the way, this scanner in my cell phone. It, its name is Togue. And by that there is faulty codes. When I click that, we can look again that is there faulty codes. Now it's searching. Searching my thing. Let's look. Soon there should be error because error engine is running and this my system scans this my cars errors and there is this error code what is this p755 power try okay and this is this my faulty code you can see this is my error and this is error that even that there is this engine file or a light, this my computer, it has made this, this defect, that there is this defect in, in my car. Okay, and then this final step, what is this third information, is that when, when, we, are, when we are thinking that do we have in our automatic transmission some error, we can check that so that that if if this my car normally takes revs when I change gears and now when I change these gears like in D there is D position in there and now when we notice that that now this my car is much lazy and this my car don't take Revs, revs, then we can think that, that now there is something wrong because now I am planning to do acceleration test and that means that I kick down this my gas pedal totally. It is now totally down in there. And then when we look in this my rev meter, it is almost very low. Let's look at my rev meter. Now I do that again. Now, now I am in position and then I am planning to do this acceleration test. There is my road and now when I pull totally kick down this my gas pedal I can see that, that this car there is no any kick down effect. There's very low amount of revs, even that I have full throttle. There's gas pedal. And I insert full throttle, and still these revs are low. Then I can say that now there is a situation that something is wrong. Okay, let's do again. There is my this road, and then when I do this acceleration, there is always low amount of revs, and this is bad, because normally these cars should take more revs than I accelerate full, and I do full acceleration. And this is the third hint, that now I have big troubles in my automatic transmission. Okay, and why I am saying that? Okay, because there is a situation that this automatic transmission repairs they are very expensive they are really expensive they are really expensive and that means that now when I have issue in my car's automatic gearbox this repair can cost even this 4000 US dollars 4000 US dollars and now I believe that I have issue in my cars, this automatic transmissions, solenoids, or then in this my cars, uh, this ECU, like eco, eco unit, what is electric computer unit, what is in behind of this my glove box in there. There is this my glove box. And that means that now when I start my car again, and position and then when I change gears this car moves 
And then when I try to accelerate this car, it's, it, it don't take revs that it should be like in neutral position and there is neutral. Now, now it takes really easily revs. But now when there is gear on D, this car is really slow. And next I am planning to do again is my acceleration test. And let's look that what happens. There I am. Now full throttle. And let's look again. When I do this acceleration test, and now there is by the way engine light on and this means that when I open there is full throttle and full gas and then all time very low amount of revs. Okay, that kind of information and thank you for watching and remember that these automatic defects they are really expensive, remember. And if you can see even this fourth signal that now there is engine failure on. Beware and be away in these bad automatic transmissions because they are really, really expensive. And remember that if you have kilometers like that car, 368 kilometers, it could be possible that this automatic transmission is a little bit damaged but but uh, in some cars lower miles and kilometers can make automatic transmission bad okay thank you again and have a nice day and see you in next movie